Welcome, welcome. Good and good. This reading is for anyone who resonates with the title. Simply says protect your energy at this time. So there must be something or someone or some people you should be protecting yourself from. in the green a b work on I'm allowing spirit to call who needs to be guided here. What's after that? This guy, this is the kitchen now. What? You want to do it now? I'm going to protect my energy and silence some people in a little while. Literally, I literally feel this weird pulling going on. Me absorbing some energies that I do not want to absorb. the live on TikTok because I started to feel the shift in the energy and I wasn't happy with it so I'm pulling back from doing free readings for this time until I reach major milestones like 60k 65 70 I'm not going to be doing any more free readings anymore. It's leaving me open to everyone and everything. And I'm not happy with it. Not happy with it. 
So I'm going to stop doing those. I'm going to be doing strictly element readings, love readings, spiritual readings, doing what I do best. So the free readings will only come out as I hit 60, 65, 70. And they will be mainly aimed at my subscribers. My subscribers will still get free readings from me, so I still pledge, promise, to give my subscribers on here, YouTube. I'm just trying to work out a date to do the YouTube one, and also on TikTok. A date with me where only you can be in the chat, with me, no one else. So I will be doing it on here with my members, and also on TikTok. Protect your energy. The message is quite simple. Well, go on, Phoenix. We are in a weird kind of time where people are acting up, girl. So it's not just about physical protection here. 100% gear. It's about spiritual, protecting your spirit man, your spirit woman. Very important. Because what they showed me, and I was just lost in daydream. I just saw the vampires and it just reminded me of Dracula. So instead of blood, it is energy. And it's so funny because spirit is amazing. Amazing, girl, because look what came out. Not one, but two confirmations that you need to guard and protect your energy at this time. Physically, emotionally, mentally, and spiritually. Very important. The energies, situation you allow yourselves to get drawn into here. So protecting your energy is very important right now. Not allow people to draw you out and make you become low vibrational. So now you are shouting, fussing and fighting. Turn off the light. There is a need to stay grounded. To be the peace in the middle of chaos, in the middle of a storm, in the middle of an argument. To transmute all of this negative energy that you pick up every single day back into the earth. As you spend time meditating with your shoes off, connecting with trees, the earth and it is transmuting it giving it back to the earth so let's get into it because some of you need to go and get grounded you've been absorbing a lot of energies like me and spirit is telling you to go get grounded i became very drained still feeling a little bit of the effects hence why no more free readings. So it's a call to stay outside a bit more, spend more time outside or bring outside, inside at this time. Okay, okay. So guardian, your spirit guardian is here. You may be seeing a lot of foxes like I've been seeing. It speaks about deception, deceit, betrayal. And it could be around careers, things that you create. Because it is your talents. So a lot of deception, envy. So guard your energy because not everyone. For me, it's wolf in sheep clothing. You know. It's a wolf in sheep clothing. So not everyone is what they say they are to you. Some have hidden motives, guy. Giving you evil eye, hidden intentions. Excuse my voice at this time. There seems to be an attack on my throat, Shaka. Again. <laughs> so guard your energy is the message. Protect it. Visualize positive outcomes. 
I really feel like it means just breathe. Don't be so quick to react. Guardians of the spiritual realm are perceived differently across all cultures and religions. Totem spirits, angels, and other shamanic spirit helpers are assigned to everyone at birth and can be discovered through vision quests, meditation, and deep forms of prayer. In ancient times, the medicinal assistance of hallucinogenic plants was used, like mushrooms. Every individual has a garden or guiding spirit or spirits that watches over them during their lifetimes. Different stages of your life bring changes to these helpers, depending on what lesson or guidance are needed to complete levels of soul growth for your soul's ascension. Guardian spirits are often perceived in animal form due to the recognition of their personal characteristics and mannerisms. So I do see a wolf in sheep clothing, be careful. The wolf depicts challenges in personal boundaries, people pushing these boundaries, and being able to trust others with your emotional vulnerability. Right now, you must guard your energy, protect it fiercely. Be mindful of how you feel energetically around others. Exhaustion, fatigue, confusion, and cloudy judgment is possible now. If you allow yourselves to be influenced by these energy vampires, it happened to me today. Only you decide on a conscious or subconscious level if you wish to interact with these toxic energies because they present themselves as one thing, but underneath the surface, there's something else. So I can't just do free readings and read for everyone. I refuse. I have to be selective in what I do. It is possible now to have interaction with police, so be careful, and emergency services. As the guardian is a protector and teacher of spirits, highlighting your personal safety and the safety of others. So maybe you get hurt or you hurt someone else. Be careful now. We're living in dangerous times, gang. Currently, the lunar cycles, the moon cycles, the full moon in Aquarius is influential for you, is influencing you and others. Well, go on, Tasha. So very influenced by the lunar cycle, by the moon. And so are others. So be cautious of the full moon's influence over people and places. Always put your personal safety first. This came out yesterday. Avoid taking unnecessary risks, guy. Okay? Avoid this. Use careful practice in your holistic, counseling, intuitive, healing and spiritual practices, guy, okay? as you are absorbing energy, positive and negative. There's a need to ground them. As you're absorbing unwanted energy from others and you need to clear and ground yourself after each session, maybe even during, or experience to minimize mental and physical fatigue. Angel assistance is Archangel CTL. The sacred crystal that will help you is a rutilated quartz, wherever that is, I have to look that up. So Archangel CTO is helping you with your manifestations, humility, and your concentration. Affirmation, I am clearly guided by my divine guardian and I am always protected. Gang, gang. So guard your energy fiercely because there is a need to ground yourself here. Because like they said, there are energies, unwanted energies pulling on you, taking from you. And some of you are absorbing this energy as you walk down the street in the supermarkets, in the schools, 
unbeknownst to some of you. So fluctuating in and out of emotions, I'm not sure why. Like I'm emotional, Dinah. Because you are empathic and you're taking on a lot of energies, some of them probably not your own. There's a need to ground yourself, spend time with yourself, and know your own energy. So when it does change, you actually know it's something external. So shield your energy for the second time. Confirmation of this reading. Look beneath the surface. Stop taking people at face value. What they say. Cleanse your space. So I do feel like Sage, Palo. Give your house and yourself a spiritual cleansing and baths. The frog, also your mind. The frog is a diverse amphibian. Living all over the world, the frog thrives in clean habitats. Its life is a process of metamorphosis from the egg to the tadpole and then to the adult frog. Frogs are often seen as the ultimate rainmaker with the exotic and intrinsic sounds of their beautiful sacred song echoing through their native bushland. This slippery creature cannot endure a toxic environment and requires unpolluted habitats to thrive, just like you. In order for you to succeed, right now you must clear and screen your friends, your surroundings, your family. Closely connected to the moon cycles, the frog encourages you to release with the full moon in Aquarius your emotions in a healthy way, washing away any negative physical or mental energies that are restricting you from having a positive and peaceful life. Encouraging you to look deeper into a situation to find the truth of the matter. The frog is challenging you to release anything or anyone that is holding you back from success. You may be feeling swamped right now, swimming through murky waters, but just like the frog, you may need a long rest or to hibernate from others while you gather your senses and a fresh perspective. Right now, the gentle energy of the frog totem is requesting that you look deeper beneath the surface because not everything is what it appears to be. Influence from toxic environments is suffocating your natural gifts and your talents that need to be nurtured. You require a healthy, supportive and loving environment, gang, for you to grow and thrive as an individual. Now is the time to take care of your health, releasing emotions and examining your own energy and how it interacts with others. Use the element of water to unblock your energy, your energy fields, and create a smooth flow of Kundalini for personal healing and growth. Find your own sacred song. Call to others who share your passions and interests where you can support and renew your inner fire. Gang, gang feeling very stagnated right now. You could be hoarding things, holding on to things that you no longer need. So go through your house, clear your house. I feel like spring cleaning. Sacred crystal, black obsidian, protection and grounding. The angel assistance is Archangel Uriel. It's clearing your focus. Mental clarity because I feel like fog all over the place overthinking so your mind's racing shielding negativity protecting any negative energy projected towards you in any of its forms affirmation i sing the beautiful sacred song of my heart i clear now clear and loud for all to hear and it's time to ground your light your energy at this time Ground your energy, gang. I've been doing it all evening. 
since I go off of YouTube. And yeah. So shine your light on the world and let your soul shine. The method of grounding your energy bodies, auric fields and consciousness is to solidify your being into the present. Through the grounding process, oh, our emotional, physical and spiritual bodies become unified, bringing balance and well-being to the soul and the spirit. So while this practice can be very challenging, it is, it is very important for you to remember you are influenced energetically by your environments. Grounding anchors your energetic fields and connects you to your emotional body while being present and mindful within those moments. Strengthening your aura and emotional and physical body is the primary goal of mindfulness. As we feel everything that we experience through this energetic space, you are doing yourself a disservice if you refuse to honor your own shining light. Embrace your inner spark that is setting you apart from everyone else. Embrace it. Claim and accept who you are as an individual so you can thrive in your life. Embrace yourself with this new confidence, Leo energy. Currently, you may be feeling sluggish, unmotivated and energetically flat. Your energy is distributed across different areas of interest and therefore is making you weaker. I know how that feels. Pay close attention to how your body reacts around certain people. Rosalind saw it today. I shut TikTok down. I shut it down. I started to react quite badly because I felt like there were some energies in there. Okay. So currently you may be feeling sluggish. Pay close attention to how your body is reacting around certain people in your life places and situations. It is up to you to develop healthy personal and physical boundaries with them and the things. Right now you need to ground your own light, come back to your heart space and center yourself in the present moment. Make yourself consciously aware of your breathing. Is it slow? Is it fast? And go. Is it intermittent? Integrate your physical space, your physical body with positive charge, because we are electrical beings, gang, by grounding your new and current experiences with breath work, just by breathing, concentrating on your breath. Bringing in new light energy through your crown and anchoring your sacred self through your earth chakras will assist the grounding process. More importantly, never, ever give your power to anyone to dim your light. You are a lighthouse, a beacon, and deserve to shine your light across the night. Mm. Says so you may be people pleasing. The crystal, the sacred crystal is red jasper. Archangel assistance is Archangel Sandophon. Energetic grounding, helping you with that and bringing you into the present, helping you to come into the present. Affirmation, I anchor and ground my divine light in my heart and I am free. I'm free, I feel free. You felt pressure in the crown, you were like, gang, gang. Let's just get a few more. Let spirit just speak. Is a spirit deck. Protect your energy, gang. Very important. People, places, and things. So where you're going may not be conducive for where you're going to... You may not can grow if you keep going to these places. Align your universe. Listen, navigate distractions. Oh, my God. The bottom of the deck... Energetic signatures, your past is in your present. Stop bringing the past into the present, gang. It is the past for a reason. 
all right? You're supposed to look back and see how far you've come. Look at the growth. Not keep bringing it into your todays. Sandifor came in your personal reading. Oh, shit, then. So, yeah, align your universe. Align your world with what you desire. So you need to have people around you that can help you get to where you need to go, that think like you. You can't be having yourself people that are losers, that are unmotivated, and you're the only one motivated. You're the only one trying to expand, grow. You have to align yourself with a team gun, usually with people that can do what you can't do. We usually align ourselves with people like they're broke, we've got a lot of broke friends. Turn up, we've got a lot of turn up friends. You know, I feel like you need to, that if you can't write, then you get a writer. If you're not good at numbers, someone's good at numbers, you get a team of people with the same mindset, same goals. They can work towards and build each other in areas that you feel weak at. So I feel like, stop settling when it comes to friendships and relationships too. Because even in friendships, we tend to settle with who we've known for a long time, even though it's not working, it hasn't been working. But we've known you for a long time, so we're loyal. We ride or die. Even though we may die for this person, and they will not die for us. So be careful. Because I feel like you may be drawn into other people's drama. Because you're so protective and nurturing, you want to save a hole. And in save a hole, you may lose your life, may end up in hospital or in jail, God forbid. So be careful, this energy is crazy. Your personal safety is highlighted, whether it's attack on you or people close to you, because you're very protective and I feel like you get yourself in a lot of trouble. Okay, saving holes. All right, so let's get the message. Align your universe, your world with the things that you want. A lot of you can look around right now and see that your world doesn't match up with the things that you're manifesting. It doesn't. It really doesn't. Clear the clutter. The things that don't belong, clear it. They're literally standing in the way of you seeing the manifestation. Because you're seeing all these old things, the past. It's still in your present. You still got his pictures on your phone, her pictures. You still got some shebangs that you shouldn't even have that you don't know the meaning of, but now you're spiritual. They're very much affecting you spiritually. So go through your house. And look at the trinkets and the emblems and the symbolisms. What do they mean? Research them because some of you have acquired items that should not be in your home at this time. So I do see clearing the clutter in your houses, even in your cars and the workplace. Very feng shui, creating a very nice peaceful space for you to live in, work in, be in. It is about mindfulness, peacefulness. Allowing you to relax, de-stress, wherever you lay your hat, that's supposed to be home, right? So home is supposed to be a place of no stress. De-stressing, unable to unwind. And a lot of you are getting wound up, stressed out, in the home. In the home. So there's an imbalance within your homes. So align your world, your homes, your lifestyle with what you want. Some of you want to be the first millionaire but you don't look like it you don't talk like it and you definitely don't act like it that confidence is not given it's not giving gang so align your world with the things that you are manifesting out of your mouth because some of you are really just not really believing the shit you're speaking and it can be seen so you need to know that your thoughts your words are manifesting so align your words your actions your thoughts have to all line up, gang. You can't be saying one thing and thinking something else and doing a complete opposite. It don't make sense. You're only lying to yourself. All right. So let's get the message. I should get my glasses. It's a rainbow. Wow. Navigate distractions in your life. What did I tell you? It's time to organize your life, your homes, your relationships. 100% organization gang. Much like an ast astrological alignment, the mind, body and spirit, that number three, need consistent alignment as we navigate our daily lives, social calendars, employment, family and home lives. Challenges to our thoughts and beliefs can shake us to our very core. 
Our values can be destabilized and altered if we have limited confidence in our direction or focus in life. Without the sanctity or alignment of the spirit, how will you know where you are going in life? When there are too many distractions or issues happening all around you at once, you may struggle to focus on the important things. So what do you feel is a priority or non-priority in your current circumstances? It is time to organise your life. Ooh. When there are too many distractions, I said that, right? i say it again. So when there are too many distractions or issues happen around you all at once, focus on the important things because we tend to struggle to focus on these things. The Spirit says you need to focus on it. Make a list in your mental list or a physical one of priority and non-priority things. Prioritise your life. The things you have to do, the people in your life. Right now, you require an alignment in your priorities. Much like the stars contained within the universe, your energy is scattered, that's what I saw, across time. Distractions and scattered energy are causing lost and missed opportunities for you, for your soul to thrive. Health is also a factor for you now. Take time to make your health and well-being a priority because I feel like the spiritual is manifesting into the physical. Align your chakras and energy centers for stability, clarity and sense of self. So losing a sense of self, some of you. Gang, gang. No problem. You are the center of your universe. You are. You should be. You must align your life accordingly. Things should gravitate around you. Seek a suitable professional if needs be. However, this is not a chance to be selfish for ego or shadow-based reasons. Your soul and spirit need you to take charge of your life now, placing yourself as a priority. You can only do this when you have your energy aligned with clear focus and understanding of where you are right now. Start using a daily or weekly calendar to record your current and future activities and events. When you align yourself to your own universe, not someone else's but your own, you will begin to see positive changes and experiences and growth relating to yourself and to others. Energy balancing is a required state of maintaining adequate health. Adjusting the core of your being to a higher vibration allows a ripple effect to shift and integrate new energy through your whole being. My left palm. So receiving new energy. Sacred crystal, natural citrine. Gang, gang. It cut out. Wow. Archangel assistance is the guardian angel. Lavia, Lavia, Lavia. L-A-V-I-A. So Lavia. Angel Lavia. Helping you with lucid dreaming. So as you drift off just into thoughts, time and space, this angel Lavia is coming to help you with downloads. I love you too. And helping you with universal alignment, aligning your chakras, bringing you back to center. Affirmation. It is safe for me to release the fear of the unknown. I can now move forward with energy and enthusiasm. And go. At the bottom of the deck, stop bringing the past into the future, gang. Stop bringing your past into the future. Let's quickly get this message. 
as I believe it is really important. It really is. It's part of the message, guy. Because some of this is what's draining your energy. It's not someone. It's something. It's a memory. It's the emotions attached to the memory. No, it's Lavia. So L-A-V-I-A. -A. The past is in the present. It's time to expose what has been hidden. Gang, gang. Understanding that everything is energy. The air that we breathe, the elements, emotions, sounds, animals, people, our thoughts. All of this is energy. All of it. Spirit's telling me to get ready. I do believe that we may have intruders coming. My crowd is going off. Quantum physics seeks to explain these phenomenons. Denser or heavier energies can now be felt by human beings' normal senses. Most people will already understand what it feels like to walk into a room where an argument has just taken place. Filled with an unseen tension, people react to these sensations, perhaps with an awkwardness or a feeling that they need to ev evacuate the building. As people progress through life, Familiar experiences such as pattern behaviours become more clear and evident as you pay attention to the energy of the environment, people, social gatherings, events and places around you. So I do see a lot of you have a lot of experiences growing up in toxic, toxic environments. <laughs> Stop it. Toxic environments. Your experiences have given you great insight to how people react, how people even act before they do react so you are prone or privy to certain insights that people don't know you can see pain you can see it in other people's eyes in the way that they embody language i feel like people's pain speaks to you on different levels you can see abuse you can see a lot of things you have an eye for detail because you've experienced it gang so bringing that past into the future can be beneficial for some of you Often you may find yourself saying, I have felt this before, or I recognize this, but I'm not sure why. Currently you are being asked to read the energy, not what they're saying, not what they're doing, but the energy of your issues and the people surrounding those circumstances. What does the energy say to you? You must shine a spotlight and use all your senses to remove these masks that they're wearing and expose the energy that is being hidden from you. My crown is going off. So there are some people hiding something from you and you will need to use all your mental resolve, spiritual gifts to uncover these masks. Gang, gang. Mm, mm, mm. Hidden motives, gang. Hidden motives and intentions towards you. And they hide it. I told you, what did I tell you? What did I tell you with the wolf? A wolf in sheep clothing. What does that mean? Someone who pretends to like you. Someone who pretends to be your friend, but they hate you. They're jealous of you. They pray for your downfall. Gang, gang. So be careful here. Like I said, I'm going to put it on the title, Wolf in Sheep Clothing. So you must shine a light and use all your senses to remove these masks and expose the energy that is being hidden from you. Not only will you identify insincere and dishonest people, you will begin to understand patterns that you have created in your life that are not serving you to the fullest. My crown is going off. Right now, you must use your sensory and intuitive intelligence for answers. You have experienced this type of energy before with your mother, with your father, with your partners. So dealing with it now is something you've seen before, experienced before. It may not be exactly the same. But you must ask, what is it? When recognised, you can adapt and modify your behaviour and actions accordingly to avoid unnecessary arguments, tension, 
and toxic situations in your social work or family environments. When practice reading other people's energy signatures of your environment becomes a built-in intuitive warning system for you. I've got it. A lot of you use it. Prior to an issue occurring, you feel it, you sense it, you foresee it. You have the ability of avoiding explosive exchanges, accidents, conflict or confrontations as it becomes in line with your fight or flight response. Creating self-awareness and energetic resilience. There's a lot of secrets being hidden from you. Sacred crystal is blue lace agate or agat. I'm not sure how it says it. Angel assistance is Archangel Gabriel. Clearing communication, honest communication. Also helping you with music and your creative writing. Music and creative writing. That is Gabriel going, going. Love and music. And I do see that. Be open to the downloads that are coming to and through you because they do speak to you directly, even though some of you do not believe it or second guess it, gang, or overthink it. They do give you downloads. You do experience them. Spirit is downloading into you, speaking to you telepathically. Channel your knowledge. Some of you, so you've asked for something, it's coming, but it's happening in divine timing. Divine timing. God's plan, not your plan, so your Plans may not go to plan. Learn to be flexible, adaptable. Flexible, adaptable. Mm, what do we do? What do we do? Let's go to this deck. Ooh, Ricochet. Thank you. First time I've seen your name. Thank you, girl. Right with the lip gloss. Getting hot, changing the energy. Hope my phone doesn't overheat. Ricochet. Ricochet. Seven, thank you. Uh, thank you. All right, so let's get these messages. Yawa, thank you. Thank you, gang gang. It's going good. Just protecting my energy at this time. So my responses are minimal, very minimal at this time. What the fuck? Yawa. See, that's a lot of confusion, just to even read it, kind of mad. Right. Thank you, Rosalind, thank you. Let's get the tarot. And I'm gonna go, gang, just came to give you a quick message, 43 minutes, and we're here. I thought it was gonna be like half an hour. We're still here. Why are you still doing this? Brother, please stop. I can't. That was enough the first time. Second time, no, gang. You need your own channel for that. Your own channel for all of that. The first time, I let it slide. Second time, no, gang, gang. No way. You're copying and pasting it again and adding more. You're not doing that here. You, go. you need your own channel, your own ministry at this time. Very much distracting. What do you need to know? So I muted you. Protecting my energy at this time. You are very much distracting me on a different level. What do you need to know with all this unthinkable? Uh, what the fuck? I didn't have time to even keep up with it. I just saw Rosalind say 100. I was like, what? <laughs> What do you need to know? Learn to protect your energy, gang. Some people's energies are way off. It's not about what's coming out their mouth, what they're doing, what they're saying. It's what the energy says to you. Is it chaotic? Is it scattered? And gang, those things are infectious. All 
What do you need to know at this time? I don't even know who you are. Who are you? Like, people are a bit... I don't know. People are funny. What do you need to know at this time? I've put out multiple readings saying to block these instas, but yet you lot still come to me about them. Just block them, report them, gang. I'm never going to come to you. It's never going to be me. So there's never a time where you need to come and tell me because it's never going to be me. People are getting weird, gang. Very weird. And I am pulling my energy all the way back. People are getting hella weird. Ten of Cups. Uh oh very nice there is offers of love here gang which is a nice message coming through so i do see a nice message of offers of love unconditional love being offered to you right so there are some people that you can let into your energy field here hundred percent and they may have pisces cancer scorpio in their charts so not everyone you should protect yourself from it is about discernment gang because I do see an offer of unconditional love. This is something that you should explore. It's going to lead to your ten of cups, your happiness. Your happiness. Contentment in life, in relationships, in love. In your family situations and dynamics. Babies are here. Some of you will be grandchildren. But there's babies giving birth to a new relationship. They're creating a new one. We're building on this. So I do see love being offered here. But I still want to tell someone to still protect themselves. Go slow. Take your time. Don't rush. There's nothing to rush. Time is not running out. You may have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio in your chart. You may have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio in your chart. Getting kind of hot. Some of you are kind of depressed right now, Spirit says. Says you're very depressed, like... I feel like you're the one going through it in your family's hair. It shows it to me. You're the empath. So you're the empath of your family, the one that feels it the most, the most deeply here. And I do see bounce of, I would say depression, emotional sensitivity. You making your thoughts get the best of you. So I just call it emotional sensitivity again. Doctors may call it depression. Feeling very drained. So it is showing me that some of you right now feel like you've been given too much to your families and you've got nothing left to give. As I put it down, I saw the message. Diana, I've been given to these family members and I'm done. I'm done. My love is unconditional, but their love for me is based on nothing but conditions. And I am all the way drained trying to make this work, trying to heal it. Trying to fix it. Whether it's with the partners, the mothers, the sons, the daughters. It matters not. This is family members who you consider to be family. Whether they're blood or not. It says I'm done. I give unconditional. They give me conditions and I'm done. So I get it and I get you, gang gang. I get it and I get you at this time. Someone is over this energy being judged. Not being love the way that they want to be loved like i just feel like you're giving love and someone's treating you like sex like a thing like possession you know it's all about the sexual energy but you want something deeper though you're looking for something much deeper something more emotional here not just all sexual here so you really want to connect to someone's emotions and someone may be holding back from you and distracting you with sex, sexual talks. 
maybe that's how they show their love language. Who knows? Thank you. Nicole, I'm getting very hot. If I miss someone out, let me know. I'm not sure if I did. Nicole. We've got Nicole, Yawa, Rika. Yeah. Albany and Nicole again. Thank you, Dan. I'm not going to keep you longer, Albany and Nicole. Cash App, Angela. Oh, my God. Thank you, gang, gang. Oh, thank you, Angela. Thank you, thank you. Are you hot? <laughs> I'm going to turn the fan on as well, gang. I'm getting hotter and hotter. Look, shine. Thank you for the cash up, Angela. So you may hear a noise come on. It will be the fan. I'm getting hot. I don't want my phone to shut down. Right. Let's get back the tarot. Where's the tarot going? My hands just felt like a lot of power surging through them. You glow. <laughs> go, go, sweat, go, go, swim. What do you need to know? Crown chakra, third eye, truly activated here. So Virgo, Cap Taurus, I see a lot of turnarounds happening in your life. It truly says that you're very enlightened at this time. It just speaks about you being very grounded very in your earth element, nurturing that divine feminine energy, healing issues within your child or with your mother here, these wounds. Your parents may be Virgo Captoris as well, or you are. I just see earth angels being very enlightened at this time, so very empowering energy. As this, forfeit, this force field is awakened within you. It's a force field of energy. So I do see this Kundalini rising, awakening within you. Yeah, I know that, gang. I got that. I got, it's not working. It's not working. Not enough. You need air conditioning. Six of cups. Healing of your inner child is what I see. So a lot of you have been healing this inner child, healing things in your childhood, which is amazing. So healing things, issues with your mom and dad, you have been doing the work. My crown is going off, so yes, you've been doing this work. Also speaks about love coming in. When I see these cards, get ready. Let me show you. Let me show you. You're in your... Sexy energy, gang. Sexual energy right now. A lot of you are feeling this sexual tension, sexual pull. You're in your divine energy where you're feeling very sexy, very much happy with the skin that you're in, your sexuality here. I do see new love, gang. I see new love. I have to call it the way I see it. Six of Cups will be a soulmate. It may even be a return of someone as well. This person is handsome, very beautiful, gang. And I do see unconditional love being offered to you with the Ten of Cups and the Queen of Cups. Emotional maturity. So if someone's coming back, they've matured emotionally. If it's someone new, they're very much matured, gang. Ready to love you down emotionally, spiritually, and sexually here. So I do see tantric sex because literally, they did show me the planetary alignment here. Babies will be birthed. Some of you will be surprised at your mature age. You will get pregnant like Hannah in the Bible at 90. You're going to be surprised. Some of you will feel like your, your internal clock has stopped, but you'll be surprised you will get pregnant again. So I do see births, unexpected births, predicted for those that don't expect it. You may have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio in your chart. Heavily here. And Leo, Sag, Aries. And we've got Virgo Cap Taurus. Okay. What do you need to know? 
very enlightened individual in touch with their emotions, with their spiritual gifts, with their intuition, with the psychic inside of them, the seer, the high priestess, very emotional, highly sensitive. Oh, what did I say? Very enlightened individual, very enlightened. Like I said, there's a focus on balance in your life, acquiring it. Returning to balance, cancers, grounding yourself, spending a lot of time outside with the earth as it activates this third eye for you and brings you back to center. I do see powerful energy flowing and pumping through you. You will feel pulsating energy through your third eye, some of you, and the crown very much highlighted here. Very spiritually strong, so you've been through a lot of spiritual warfare, gang. But this has made you so strong. Literally, some of you are demon slayers here. Spiritual warriors. It's literally what you put your mind on, your intentions are very powerful here. Very powerful. You are in this energy of power of your mind. Can move mountains at this time. What you focus your thoughts on. Knight of Pentacles. I do see some type of monetary judgment being awarded to you within the next six months. There is monetary judgment you sign in legal documents here. That's a contract. I do see public figures. Some of you will be in the public eye, maybe even in the legal sector as well. Whether you're working in it or against it matters not. You're standing up for truth and justice, whether it's in it or out of it. Your work is about empowering, protecting, encouraging, coaching, mentoring, even counselling, or just plain old speaking. You could also write with this energy. It's very, it's very empowering. It's very knowledgeable. So you can utilise your gifts in many ways. You may choose to write. You may choose to sing it because your voice is very empowering. But it's, it really is about your communication. So you can choose to communicate any way that you so choose to. Through words, spoken words, singing words, song words. You could preach. You could shout. You know, do it any way you want, girl. It's up to you. It does speak about a poverty mindset. You not being able to see that you're able to bring in this harvest. So some of you are not able to see beyond circumstances, beyond your financial difficulties right now. The fact that you're having to ask for help. So you cannot see that you're able to create this business and bring in a harvest for yourself because right now you're telling me, Dana, but I'm broke though. I'm having to borrow money, steal from Peter to pay Paul at this time. So not able to see him past this poor part mindset because it is one and it keeps you broke. It keeps you there, it keeps you broke. Not being able to see your way out of something. But I see the Queen of Pentacles demands that you need to see it. Before, look at this. Before it happens, you need to see it, envision it in your mind's eye. So whether it be the family, whether it be the contract, whether it be the love gang gang, or just the passions going after your dreams and goals, or maybe it's just the baby here, or is it the healing? of your depression. Whatever it is, you need to envision it in your mind's eye. All right, this is Manifestation 101. Because a lot of you are manifesting a lot more problems into your life, Spirit says. And there is a need to be the fool. This is new energy. Be new. Be a childlike energy, gang. Forget what you know and start this journey of life again. Forgetting about your past. All these problems. You are still... Delving into this and bringing it back up. Spirit says, no, be new. So you're going to create from new experiences, not from the past. A lot of us will go back into a past to create new experiences. This is our barometer, but Spirit says, no. This is a rebirthing of the mind, so the old is passed away. So now you're going to take risks. Open yourselves up more. Allow the universe to support you.
I really do feel like stand up for what you want. Stop bowing down to others is what I can see as well. Someone really needs to go after what they want. Spirit says I'm not too proud to beg. So maybe some of you need to drop the ego. You may need to ask for help. You may need to ask for help here. And not be too proud to ask for help. It's not about begging, it's about asking. If it's financial, emotional, whatever this is, don't be too proud to ask. People like to use and throw around words that make it hard for people to really ask for help. Because I don't want charity, I'm not begging, but really I'm just asking for support. And that is what you need to do if that's what you need, okay? So ask for help if you need it. Very important message, gang. All right, let's get your name. What did I do with the things? Get this one. On the one chair, you know, Alison. Thank you. All right, I feel my energy levels. Time for me to go. Time to go. Alison. My nose is going off as well. Mm -mm -mm. Latoria. Okay, mm -hmm. thank you. Spirit says, wait, there's another message. Okie doke. Victoria. Oh, gosh. And Alison again. Thank you, guys. Don't want to miss you out. So, Alison, one more time. I love you, too. My nose is going off, so we must have a message coming through. Let's get it. Let's get it. This one okay so i see some relationships either coming or has come to an end and there will be no second chances for this none at all ending so clearing out the clutter for good gang gang making healthier choices for yourself in love and in your life so it's not just your love life it's your lifestyle the people you allow around you situations you go into Heartbroken, deeply hurt, separation, so yet breaking up, gang. And you may have to go through this period of hurt, whether it's you or them. It is grieving a relationship that is lost, gang, broken up. So you will have to go through this healing process. Heartbreak is there for some people here. Some of you are going through it. Time to make healthier choices to grow and transform your life. You cannot keep going back to this person. No second chance. Or people. It may be a set of people for you. What do you need to know? Set some healthy boundaries. Say no. They still watch you. You still got people watching you. Those same people that stabbed you in the back that you found out the truth about, they still watching you, guys. They still watching you. Still watching how you post your pictures. <laughs> they stalk your shit, bro. They stalk you. For some of you, it's the ex. You know which one, the narcissistic one. If some of you were married to this ex Leo Sag Aries in the charts, and this person is trying to come after you. But this person is still a cheater. But this person is going to come and want to date you, gang. So I feel like this person is still going to try and come in. But there is a third party interference here. They are still flirting with other people, dating other people here. Telling other people the same thing. So be careful of this reconnected energy. Protect your energy, gang. Stop allowing people to come back. Spirit says no second chances. You are opening up yourselves time and time again to be heartbroken. Because who are you? You are this empath who allows snakes into your life to squeeze all the energy out of you time and time again. All right? And it's a narcissist, it's an empath, a narcissistic paradigm. You're being charmed or used, but you enable these relationships by not setting healthy boundaries for yourself. So you're allowing people to use you as a doormat. Yep, making you feel like you're not enough. I don't feel good enough. I'm frustrated in this relationship or ships. Make me feel frustrated. I can't grow here. 
attacking my confidence. So literally, I'm not growing. I'm actually getting worse. I'm getting depressed. I'm getting social anxiety now. I don't really want to be around people. I'm questioning myself, my body, my sense of worth. My goddamn mental health. You could be self-sabotaging, so hurting yourself in any number of ways here. From the drugs to physically, emotionally here. And you may be dealing with issues of insecurity, whether it's you or the person. Very jealous energy. This person could have you so insecure, you may feel jealous. Like, what does she have? What did he have that I don't have? That energy. But you may have this projected at you as well. I feel that someone really does project their insecurities at you. They're a cheater. But they make you feel like you're not good enough, though. Like, you made them do it. You made me cheat. Because you didn't give me enough of something or you wasn't there. That's why I do it. That's why I've done it. But someone literally says it's your fault. Projecting it onto you. You deserve better than this, gang. No second chances, gang. Someone is not taking accountability for what they're doing. What they've done to you. Somehow you're the cause of it. You're the reason why I did what I did. And why I continue to continue to do what I do. It's my reaction to your actions, they're saying. So what do you need to know? So someone switches it around on you. I feel like reverse psychology is being used, the king of swords. I feel like someone talks to other people about you as well. Maybe even your friends and family, or maybe their family. But I feel like external people are involved here. It does speak about people meeting up. So whether it's physical or it's just in WhatsApp groups and Snapchat groups, these people meet up and they talk about you. Your pictures, gang, with this twin flame gang that you used to be with. This person meets up with other people to talk about you and the pictures that you're probably posting right now. So they're talking about you over some drinks here. So it's either a physical meetup or a virtual one. But they're talking about you, WhatsApp groups have been made, Snapchat, whatever you call it. But they may be physically going somewhere. And meeting up so you may see them you may see these people out in the polls having drinks together and you're wondering but these snakes don't like each other yet they're talking about you they're meeting up because of you so someone is so snaky this person's gone to your friends to all your exes or whatever this is inserting themselves in your business i really do feel talking about you keeping something alive and you're just moving on Someone is invested in your world, but they have no access to you, though. They have outdated thinking. This person needs to grow up, mature, and spirit says, no, darling, I need to heal. This person needs healing. This person actually needs healing at this time. This is an unhealed individual, a lot of traumas, a lot of wounds, and yes, they are hurting you, gang, gang. They are hurting you. Oh, thank you, Rosalind. Thank you, baby. Because YouTube does, they take 70% of super chats. They do. Rosin is exactly right, and donations. So if you think when you're gifting me, it's coming to me, gang, I get 30% of this. That's why Cash App is the best thing. It comes straight to me. I'm not saying you shouldn't. I welcome it. But remember, it does go to YouTube. Even your membership, it goes through them, and they pay me whatever it is. All right? Even the deals with the, the ads, the ads pay them. They pay me. So they are ripping me off, gang. 100%. What the fuck? Yep. Yeah. Every month, I lose at least £2,000 to £3,000 to YouTube. 100%. Two to £3,000. I use, I lose. But I can't do nothing about it. It's the platform is what we're on. The more I make, the more they take. And gang. 
So we're going to wind this down. But thank you. Yeah, it's crazy. So be mindful of it. Don't think that we're out here reaping it all. We're not even on TikTok. TikTok's taking part of it as well. Same thing. Almost half on TikTok as well. Like, it's kind of crazy. So let's wind this down. I got my beautiful spirit deck. Haven't used it in a minute. Wake up. I swear it's been like eight months, six months, so I'm glad that I'm using it. So a very reflective period for you. And what does Spirit say? It is time for us to go outside and get grounded. Because I do see reflection. Staring in the mirror and maybe not liking what you see. You know. Thank you, Phoenix. So this is time to get grounded, to meditate more, to pray more, gang. All right, deepen your connection to Mother Earth, to Father God, okay? To do some breath work, meditation, even yoga. Do not be fear-mongered into feeling yoga is going to open you up to the devil. It's not. Just have clear and positive intentions and nothing negative can come towards you, gang. It's about the thoughts and intentions. Do not allow negative people to influence your path with their fears of the unknown. So they don't know what they're talking about. They see Tutu video and they want to just talk some rubbish. Don't listen to that. What do you need to know? Spending time meditating, even practicing yoga, certain yogas will be beneficial for you. Anxiety, stress, aligning those chakras, bring you back to center. A lot of people do, gang. There's a lot of people that think this. So for the ones that do, I'm just speaking to them. That's who that message was for. So messages for the collective. Some people are scared of these things, gang. It's the unknown. Growing up in religion, you don't know about these things. We just know what we hear, what we see. And it's all fear. Until someone speaks about it, brings clarity. I'll go research about it, whatever it is. But it needs to be a conversation around it. Because we just assume that everyone understands they do not, they don't know. It's not ignorance, it's not. It's lived experience, it's not It's not ignorance. It's lived experience. Some people have not been exposed to any of that lifestyle, so it doesn't make them ignorant. It means they're lacking knowledge. They're lacking the knowledge. So we are here to enlighten others, not call them ignorant, gang. We're here to enlighten them. They may sound ignorant, but it's the lack of knowledge. That's where you come in. Not to degrade them, but to empower them. So they're not ignorant. They're lacking knowledge, gang, gang. Because of lived experiences, restricted ones, and belief systems. That's what it was. That's what it is. Everyone has different lived experiences. We were exposed to different things. Some people are not exposed at all. Very sheltered. You'd be surprised. What do you need to know at this time? Maybe it is the definition of the word, but I wasn't really getting into definitions and back and forward energy gang because I will just mute it. I'm not going to be passing the energy from me to you. I'm not doing it. I ain't doing it. It's draining my energy already. Just speaking about a stagnant energy it's not even relevant to me or you really is it it's for her or them so it wasn't your message in the first place that you picked it up it was for those that didn't understand about yoga so please protect your energy as i protect mine so reserve it for the messages that are actually yours you responded to a message that's not even yours and we're going back and forward about it and i'm not about to do it I'm right, you're right. I don't give a shit about right or wrong. It's all energy. What do you need to know? People get hooked up on this back and forward, passing the back the ball of energy. I'm not playing any games with no one. I put my back down. Play by yourself. What do you need to know? I've just come to bring a message. Either it's yours or it's not. Take what resonates and leave the rest.
that's fine that's fine that's fine what do you need to know white light simple this is about healing spreading your light allowing your light to shine letting the light into your life into your situation because some of you are really inhabiting this dark side of yourself feeling that it's empowering but it's not it literally is disempowering it takes a lot of energy to, to be dark to be in that dark energy it's very draining and it diminishes who you really are, which is really light. You are both energies, but it diminishes the light within you. You start to not even see the good within yourself and the world around you. So remain in this positive energy here. Let's get this card. It's funny that this came out, because this is the healer of the ages. So you do have a healer in the house, white light, which is healing light. Oh, so you are natural light workers. The number nine is very important. It's time for you to step up, gang gang. To share your light, which is your energy in whatever way, form that you so choose to right now. But you'll need it. This is your message and we out. The universe surrounds you with light and protection. I love that because we need it. You have received this card as the universe wants you to know you are protected and loved from above. White light is a universal energy that is available for your protection. I love how it's about protecting yourself and us at will. The angels of the universe reside on this spiritual level and you have the ability to call them in when and if you need them. The white light psychic reading card, no problem is a confirmation that wherever you, whenever you are worried, feel unsafe or in the need of heavenly protection, simply call on the universe of God on Gaia to surround you with their warm, protective, radiating light. Gang, gang. No weapons. White light is a protective bubble. Hmm. <laughs> That keeps you safe from any negative thoughts, feelings, energies, or entities, demons, you may feel you have around you. Oh, stabbing in my neck. These energies can be a living person on this earth, earthly realm, or a deceased being in the spirit realm. Mm. White light has been called on since the dawn of time. To protect any human being who feel they are in need of assistance from above. My ears are buzzing. As your guardian angel and your loved ones in spirit reside in this realm and vibrate at this frequency, it is important to remember to call on them when you need them, girl. Struggling to read it, my eyes. Uh -huh. You may sometimes feel so stressed and disconnected from God, from the universe, that you forget there is also help at hand from above and the spiritual realm above. Calling to those, calling to white light is such a simple thing to do and it can immediately lift your vibrations and mood too, and your feelings of safety. The universe wants you to know in your heart that you are always safe and protected from above, eye on the sparrow. Do not ever hesitate to ask for assistance from the universe, from God, from your angels and your loved ones in spirit. Gang, gang. that is the end thank you thank you thank you simple message protect your energy wolf in sheep clothing gang take care thank you